did a Facebook Live outside and didn't realize it uh, until I listened to it, that the wind was so strong that it was just making blurry sounds on the microphone. And so, um, so what, I, what I decided to do is re-record the reading inside because of all the wind. And uh, Grayson is still here. Uh, and because he is inspired by uh, the wisdom of Eastern religions. So um, what I was saying outside before the wind made such a racket was that today I've been thinking a lot about uh, spiritual teachers and spiritual teachings that have impacted my life. Uh, and I've really been blessed to have a lot of uh, strong influence from Eastern traditions. Some of the most powerful spiritual teachers have been members of the, the Sikh faith and the Sikh scriptures have uh, really uh, written themselves on my heart. Um, Buddhist, Buddhist teachings have been a real inspiration um, and, as well as uh, Confucianism and, and Taoism. And I wanted to share a piece of Taoist scripture, Lao Tzu, wrote, um, and it's powerful, it's truthful, and it is perfect, really perfect for this time that we are living through. It's called A Vessel So Sacred. Those, those who would take over the earth and shape it to their will never I notice, succeed. The earth is like a vessel so sacred that at the mere approach of the profane, it is marred. And when they reach out their fingers, it is gone. For a time in the world, some force themselves ahead and some are left behind. For a time in the world, some make a great noise, and some are held silent. For a time in the world, some are puffed fat, and some are kept hungry. For a time in the world, some push aboard, and some are tipped out. But at no time in the world will one who is sane, overreach, overspend, overrate. The teachings of Taoism for a Thursday afternoon. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and hopefully the wind that is now coming inside the house because it's so windy didn't make all kinds of muffling sounds in the microphone. But if it did, yes, so be it. Uh, wishing you peace and joy and remembering that you are not.